Let's take a look at the function generator instrument. You can use the function generator to make a variety of basic waveforms. Function generator is located right here. I'll double click to open up the front panel. We can view the output of the function generator using interactive simulation. I'll place the oscilloscope and then we also need a ground. Of course, every circuit needs uh, at least one ground connection. I'll begin by connecting the negative terminal of the function generator to ground and the positive terminal to the plus terminal of the oscilloscope. And it initially looks like a ramp. Turns out the default value for frequency is 1 hertz. That's pretty low frequency. Let's get this up to 10 hertz. Starting to see a sinusoid emerging. I'm going to push this up to 100 hertz. And then adjust the vertical scale of channel A so we can fit the entire waveform on the screen. Now notice that the amplitude says 10 volts peak. All right, if we look here, it's 10 volts per division. So I see one, two divisions, and that would be 20 volts peak. It has to do with the fact that normally we want to use the common and one of the other outputs on the function generator. So let me switch the common to ground and see how that looks. Okay, that's better. Now I'm seeing an amplitude that matches the set value of 10 volts peak. You would typically use the negative output of the function generator to give you a complementary waveform that's phase inverted compared to the signal coming out of the plus terminal. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Channel B has the uh, cyan color trace and we see that that's the opposite phase of the uh, red trace. Alright, so let's move on just taking a look at the uh, signal itself. Here we see a triangle wave pattern. Here's a square wave pattern. With both the triangle and the square wave you can adjust the duty cycle to get different shapes. Here we see that now it's low for 10% of the cycle. And now we see that it's low for 80% uh, of the cycle, rather. All right, let me push that back to 50% duty cycle. And the offset control allows you to shift the waveform up and down. I can shift it up. And if I put it up to 10, then I can make the waveform start at zero and go to a maximum value of 20 volts. You can also use a negative offset.